Welcome back everyone, today we've got a Destiny 2 video showing how, as a solo player, to collect two free loot chests containing raid gear from the last wish raid in Destiny. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so I found two different ways to make this jump as a solo warlock. I'm going to list some of the requirements required for the first jump right now. After it's finished, I'm going to go through the options that you can use for the second jump. The requirements for this jump are Aspects, Icarus Dash, and Heat Rises, and you must have a sword that has Eager Edge on it, which gives you increased sword lunge distance immediately after switching to the weapon. You must have at least 100 mobility to increase your jump height, and you must have an armor mod that has weapon dexterity for whichever weapon you will swap back and forth between with your sword. In my case it's a glaive dexterity mod, but any mod with dexterity for another weapon will work. Alright, so here we go, I've got my glaive in hand, which I'm going to be switching back and forth between with my sword. And we're going to run up full speed toward the edge, we're going to drop our heat rises grenade as we jump, continue floating, sword swing, Icarus dash, jump, back to glaive. Switch to sword, eager edge, Icarus dash, jump, back to glaive. Sword, Icarus dash, jump. Icarus dash, jump, sword, sword again. Did it. Bang. Now that wasn't done perfectly, but a little bit better on the jumps there, you make it super easily. Okay, here's the second way the jump can be done. Same aspects, Icarus Dash and Heat Rises. This time we're using a Mitre Mini Tool, Exotic, which gives us a bonus of the weapon boost's move speed as we do our initial run. After that, I've still got my Eager Edge Sword on, although I tried not to use it during this jump. You can definitely make it without. You don't have to have the sword to do this one. I also made a point of having the Wings of Sacred Dawn, which when the Dawnblade is equipped, aiming the weapon while you're looking down sights reduces uh, fall speed, basically. So if you're looking down the sights, you fall slower towards the ground. Finally, mobility still needs to be above 100 for this one to work. Okay, here we go. Got those items equipped. Might have mini tool in hand. Wait for my grenade energy to build up. We're just going to run toward the same edge. We're going to jump jump first, then grenade, in the air, get our heat rises, boost all the way, look down, sight, Icarus dash, full boost, look down, sight, Icarus dash, look down, sight, wait for Icarus dash cooldown, jump again, Icarus dash, look down, sight. We're just going to repeat this process all the way through. Icarus dash, look down, sight, Icarus dash, look down, sight, Icarus dash, look down, sight, Icarus dash, look down sight. 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 Sword swing once. Icarus dash, and made it. You can definitely do that without the sword. I have done it before. Now if you've watched this video, you probably already know where the chests are, how to get them, but I'm going to run through and show people now. Just drop down here. Run along this outer edge. Take a left at the corner here. Jump along. Jump up this tree. Not to, try not to fall here. If you do fall, you're going to get sent all the way back and have to do that jump again. Once you get from this tree, jump to this ledge. Super easy. Run across from the ledge. There's the chest right there. After we've collected the chest, any raid gear from the whole raid can be given to you here. You'll notice I've got some boots here. They are raid boots and they will have the uh, fifth socket on them. You jump back. Now, this is a little bit annoying to make this little ledge here. It takes a bit of practice to get it right, but you're landing on this tiny invisible ledge right there. After that, we're looking across and we're gonna be jumping up to that ledge straight across that I'm looking at here. Heat rises, Icarus dash, we're across. Now once we've made it to this ledge, we're just going to keep that heat rises going, jump to the next ledge, here we are, we turn around, we look up, we're jumping up here, again still using heat rises, Icarus dash, and we're up. Now from here, don't need to worry about any kind of jumps anymore. The only thing is uh, getting up this little tree bit here obviously, but as we get up the top, you're going to find this little ledge here. We're going to jump across. Jump, 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 jump. Make sure you get in there, okay? Don't fall. Try not to fall. Now we're on the top of the map. And we're basically just going to run across the top of the map here. You'll see some glitching on the ceiling. I can't actually get any jump height here to do any boosted jumps. So it's a slow run, but... Graphic looks like a graphics error. It's not really. This is just uh, how the game works, unfortunately, at this point. 
Now we keep running across, and when we get to this little edge here, you'll see what to do. Okay, when we get to here, important note, something you must do before heading down. If you've got your settings higher than 30 FPS, you have to go into your video settings, go across to your FPS, bring that down to 30, otherwise you will die when the load zone occurs just down below. Jump down, float across to the ledge, run along this little uh, embankment here. Going to turn right, oh, not here, next one, right here. Load zone will appear. If you don't have 30 FPS, you'll die right there. Okay, once you've gone from 30 FPS, you've made it through, you can just go back to uh, 120 FPS again. And from this point, it's it's basic. Any character can make these further jumps from here. You can also do the fast travel point to right here as well. Um, but that's not what the purpose of this video is. So, we'll keep moving across. Jump to here. Now, there's an easy way to get up that I've found, especially with Warlock. We're just going to jump on the base of this pillar and jump across. Some people use the big rock embankment to my left. Onto this ledge here, which I've just missed. Jump up one more time. You ledge grab to get onto it. It's pretty easy. Across here. I do a sword swing there because I messed my jump up. You do not need to do that to make that jump at all. And now we just continue jumping up. And up. And we're going to jump across and run across these skeleton looking uh, rebub sections on the bottom of the bridge. Take out my sword so I can see better. Run along, jump under this one, run along, jump out to the left, fall down a little bit, jump again, float yourself in, land on this ledge. Don't miss. Don't miss. Yeah, okay. Now from here, jump across one more time to the next one. Continue. And the second chest we're trying to find is halfway down this pillar. So we fall, spot the ledge, jump across once, and there you are. Next chest, and what do we get? Ooh, rocket launcher. And now I jump to my death. You're done. Congratulations. Two chests for free. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all next time.